what is it guys title once again and i'm coming at you guys with another content of cooking on kingdom in today's content i am going to be diving into the auto feature within the game and see actually how good it is and how much better uh, i can do it when i do it manually versus when i do it completely auto and i'm going to be trying this out with stage 12-30 dark mode and everything is going to be autoed i'm going to be autoing the uh treasures as well as a team setup and then I'm just gonna dive into the world exploration. This is literally what I'm doing, guys. So right here, this is the team that they have told me to use. And obviously, the toppings are not gonna be the best. So I'm gonna be setting the toppings real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we set up the toppings here, and it's gonna be T Knight with five solid almond. We're gonna be using five saving raspberry for our dog account, just so that he does do extra damage. And then Caramel Arrow does have five of the searing raspberry as well. And Claire is gonna be using five searing raspberry. Actually, I'll give it Claire five swift chocolate. And then I'm gonna use five of the juicy apple jelly for our Twizzy gummy cookie. And the treasures that they have set for us absolutely don't understand why they did this but it is going to be the the pin cushion that is not going to do anything for my team and then we do have the scroll as well as the healer staff healer staff will be good but that is going to make my cookies all the way up to 962,940 total power level and we are going to be versing this dragon who is going to be 805,152 this is going to be the dark mode once again so let's see how well this auto team is gonna do against this dragon for using full auto let's go all right guys so i have a complete full auto i am not touching anything my cursor right here is gonna be right over here and i'm just gonna let this thing roll and see how good this auto team is gonna do using full auto as well obviously a main problem here is gonna be that there is no healer at all except for the healer staff which is gonna work out in a way if Tina is gonna be the last one standing. And already right there, our uh, Twizzy Gummy is gone. And Dark Cow is gone. And Caramel Arrow is also gone. And Tina is gonna be the only one surviving, probably here, with Eclair almost dying. There you go. And Eclair is gone. So, right here, we have Tina soloing this dragon. And he is going to constantly get healed with the healer staff. And he's just going to slash at the enemy, you know, just like this for another minute and 30 seconds. If he does survive that entire time. And once again, the healer staff is going to heal him all the way to max health, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but you guys can see he's literally tickling uh, this dragon. He's tickling this dragon here, guys. I don't think he's gonna die, he's probably gonna run out of time here, and that's probably gonna be it here. Uh, but I'm pretty surprised that T-Knight is surviving all the way, you know? And he's doing a decent amount of damage with his skill and auto attack. I mean, auto attack he's doing about 36,000 every single time. Uh, but that's about it. I mean, he doesn't do anything, right? Boom, 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 boom. And let me just fast forward this another 30 seconds here, guys. So that Okay. So that was not bad at all. I mean, he did a decent amount of damage. He almost got into half HP. He did 9 million all by himself, which is which is impressive. Right? But obviously we did not clear it there's no three stars with that right so now instead of using a team that they have set for me i am going to be using a team that i am going to manually set and that is going to include our pure vanilla and then that is going to include eclair cotton and then i am also going to be using dark choco actually i'll use dark cow here and then i am going to be using someone like We'll go with Caramel Arrow. I think Caramel Arrow will work out perfectly fine here as well. So here we go. I'm going to be using the scroll. And of course, when you are versing a boss, usually the slingshot is going to be the best. And then with it, we are going to be using the jelly wash. So let me turn up the toppings real quick and I'll be right back. And here we go, guys. This is going to be the topping. This time around, I am going to be using 5 solid almond for Dark Cacao because he is going to be our frontline tank. Caramel Arrow is going to be using the same thing, 5 searing raspberry. Eclair is going to use the same thing, 5 swift chocolate. Content is going to be using 5 swift chocolate here. And our pure vanilla is also going to be using 5 swift chocolate. And once again, the treasure is going to be Jelly Watch, Slingshot, and the Scroll. And this time around, my power is going to be a little less. It's going to be 780,000 
lower than what the recommended power is but i want to show you guys that even with that if you do have a good team a balanced team that it is going to be okay for you to have a little less power than what is recommended so here we go guys i'm gonna do it all manually this time around i am going to put it at 1.5 speed but instead of auto i am going to be clicking and i will be using what i do and this is pretty much what's gonna happen here we go so obviously one big difference here is that i do have a tank i have a dps i also have a healer so that is going to be the biggest difference here guys right and that is going to make a huge difference when the outcome is you know uh it, it comes out right so here we go already we're done with the first stage and that is gonna allow us to let's see just uh keep going and we are going to be doing all the debuffs here and we want to keep having the debuff a uh, weakness debuff at least on the dragon so that we are dealing extra damage pure vanilla to heal and block the breath and just matching the skill with the uh, slingshot so that we are doing extra damage and that's pretty much what we are doing here guys that's all we need to do we have four stats on the weakness the camera oil doesn't get stunned which is awesome right and here we go i just uh did that shield and one minute remaining and we are almost almost uh, done with half already so that's already really really nice okay. so you can see that you know having this you know manual mode right sometimes auto works auto is good in certain scenarios however when it comes to bosses when it comes to stages that are a bit difficult the reason why I always emphasize that you guys should always make a balanced team, you should always be playing on manual, is because of this. It makes a huge difference. Of course, you know, sometimes it's going to get risky. Sometimes it's going to get close. However, at least you're going to win, right? At least you're going to win. At least you're going to be able to actually three-star uh, some of the stages that you can't three-star with auto. Uh, and there you go. That is going to be the biggest difference, guys. And of course, you can do this anywhere uh within the stages within the episode and you know eight million damage done by cotton five million damage done by eclair seven million by caramel arrow four million by dark Account. you know the treasures worked out team balance worked out even though my power was a little less you know i'm able to still defeat this stage of course some people might say hey your cookies are all maxed out it's 100 percent true it does make a big difference however what i wanted to try and get at right here is not how to beat 12-30 but just do a comparison of auto versus manual and also if you guys do want me to try this out on episode 13-30 as well as 14-30 then let me know down in the comments below and i will try to make an auto team and do a versus a manual team that i will be uh, using if i was versing that stage on my own anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the content if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future cooking kingdom videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube and also if you guys do want me to try this out on a arena or anything like that please let me know down in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to see next thanks for watching once again guys and i'll see you guys all on the next one